Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, I'm finally upgrading my storage device. Uh, I've been using a lot of one or two terabyte small little external hard drives to back up all my videos that I do for you guys, and I picked up a nice little DAS, uh, DAS, which stands for Direct Attach Storage, and it supports about 24 terabytes, which is awesome. Uh, it is from TerraMaster, and it's the F. 300. So let's take a closer look on the device. All right, so this is the TerraMaster F4300. It supports four bays and uh, it's 3.5 or 2.5 SATA hard drives, and the capacity is about 24 terabytes, which is pretty awesome. Uh, at the bottom right here, you have your hard drive indicators, your power button right here. These guys right here are your slots. This is where you insert the hard drives. And at the back, you got a nice power supply as well as fan to keep the hard drives nice and cool. This is where you insert your power supply. And check this out. This is a Type-C port, which is pretty cool. Now, within the box, you get screws for your hard drives. You have your Type-C USB cord and your power supply, okay? So what we're going to do is insert two 2 terabyte hard drives from Western Digital. This is the Enterprise Storage Edition, and they're really simple to insert. So what we're going to do is pop one and two, and it will go zero, one, two, and three. So we're going to do zero first, and this is one. And they actually have it labeled as HDD1 and HDD2, and this will be HDD3 and HDD4. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to put this to the side. We're going to take our first hard drive. And the part right here where you have the ports, which goes this way, make sure that you're inserting it the correct way. And uh, the motherboard of the hard drive goes at the bottom. So what we need to do is get a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew these guys that are already in it. Make some room. Oh, all right. Make sure you don't lose them. And we're just going to insert this guy here like this. Then we're going to open up the little packet, get two more so we can put it on the other two sides. And we got to do the same thing for our additional hard drive. Awesome. And then we're going to insert it. It's real simple to insert it. Just insert it and then push in. Okay, so I just finished inserting uh, the cradle uh, on our second hard drive. Again, you got to take these little brackets out and just take four of these little screws that they provided and put them in each end, two in each end, two and then two. And then we're going to insert it. Now, this uh, TerraMaster F4300 actually supports RAID 0. RAID 1, RAID 3, RAID 5, RAID 10, GBLD, uh, and again, the, the capacity is about 24 terabytes. So that means uh, four, six uh, terabyte hard drives, depending on what RAID configuration you do. Uh, but overall, it could support 24 terabytes, which is a lot. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we're going to get our laptop. And we're just going to plug everything in. So first thing that you need to do is take the USB. The USB is 3.0. And we're going to insert it inside our laptop. Awesome. And the other end, which is the Type-C, goes at the back. Cool. And for our power supply, we're going to take the brick, insert the cable. This cable right here goes into your outlet. And the other end goes in the back of the device. All right, so we're going to plug it in. We're going to plug in the laptop. We're going to plug in the TerraMaster F4300. And we're going to power everything up. We're going to download the drivers and the utility. And we're going to configure it. Okay, so what the first thing that we need to do is we need to go inside the TerraMaster site and pick up their drivers. So open up your favorite browser and go to terra-master.com. Uh, and they have a lot of awesome models and what we need to go is you're going to go all the way to the bottom and go to downloads support download and for your model find your model our model is the f4 300 and we are going to install the raid manager 
Now, because I only have two hard drives, most likely I'm not going to do a RAID 0. I'm going to do a RAID 1 for now, like a mirror. Uh, that will help me out a little bit until I get more hard drives in and increase the capacity. So we are going to do the desktop application for Windows. And we're going to click on download. So download is completed. So what we're going to do is click and show in folder. And what we're going to do is right click on it. 7-zip already installed inside my machine. So I'm going to extract the files. Press OK. I'm going to double click on this TerraMaster RAID Manager folder. Double click. And we are going to double click on the setup file to install it. And click install. It's copying all the files. That was pretty fast. And we're going to launch the application. Yes. Okay, so let's close this up, and there it goes. Looks really old school, but hopefully it works out. Uh, it doesn't look like it's picking anything up because I haven't started it up. So this is our machine. It's already hooked up to our uh, laptop, so I'm going to power it on. And as you guys can see, uh, LED lights are right here. It's only one and two are lit up because those are the two hard drives. Those are the only two hard drives that we have inserted. Uh, three and four now lit up because we have no hard drives and we're gonna put this guy right next to the computer It looks like Windows 7 has picked it up. It's installing the device drivers, which is awesome and I don't know if I have to Probably restart the raid manager for it to work properly, but it looks like Windows 7. Oh Automatically picked it up. Awesome. Cool. Kind of sucks that you can't expand this. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is what do we need to do to get this stuff set up? So we have these two guys here, the controller. What is this? Event logger. And this guy right here is our basic configuration. Awesome. So what I want to do is the only options that I have here because I have two hard drives is RAID 0, which is a no-no. RAID 1, definitely I'm going to do RAID 1 for now. Uh, you could do JBOD and clone. I'm going to do RAID 1 now, which is a mirror, and we are going to apply it. But before I apply it, I want to go into Start and Computer, and it doesn't pick it up. And I also want to do is go to Start, right-click on Computer, and let's go to Manage, and let's go to Disk Management. And within Disk Management, it looks like it reads Disk 1 and Disk 2. Awesome. So that means it's not a uh, Windows 7 sees it, but we haven't configured it in within a Windows 7 environment. Now we're using uh, TerraMaster's uh, RAID configurer to do it. So once this is done, this setup here is going to disappear. And we're only going to see one drive. So I'm going to apply it and uh, specifying a basic RAID configuration will result in the previous volume being deleted. It's, it's a it's a clean installation, so I don't have to worry about anything. And we're gonna click on yes, and it's doing its raid thing. I can hear Windows 7 doing its thing. The Terra Master has uh, slowed down the disk, and it looks like it's doing its thing like really fast. This is I'm pretty impressed on this. This Terra Master is pretty awesome for a small little guy and supporting about 24 terabytes. Awesome. Um, again, I'm gonna get myself up and running with the two hard drives. And I could probably insert uh, bigger hard drives in RAID 3 and 4 and then RAID that. And our RAID 1 is completed. Let's press OK. Awesome. 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 Let's go inside our computer management. There it goes. So that means if I go inside the computer, it's not there. So we need to do extra steps. And the extra steps is go inside computer management. We're going to right click. We're going to initialize the disk. We're going to do a GPT. Press OK. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do a new simple volume. Next. I'm going to use everything. Next. It's going to be the D drive. Next. I'm going to do a quick reformat and next and finish. So the reformat is done. We're going to close this up and it looks like autoplay is there because it's trying to open up the D drive. But if I go to start computer, there goes our, there goes our new raid. Awesome. Awesome. Super excited about this. Um, I think. I'm probably going to purchase more hard drives so I, pro I could get maybe a RAID 5 on it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on the TerraMaster F4300. Uh, again, it's a huge upgrade for me. It's time for me to start uh, backing up all my video files into this guy. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave comments right below and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.